Hey guys and girls. Uh, so today I thought I would share with you uh, the presets to the updated base machine. So I'm calling it base machine two for right now. And what this is, if you haven't seen uh, any of this before, is this a, is a tool used specifically in Ableton. It uses uh, Ableton's uh, simpler and sampler operator instrument and the uh, analog instrument. So a lot going on here. So what we have here is we have eight different layers of sound that we can use to construct our bass. Now we could use any of these individually or we can layer as many of these as seems necessary to create the sound we're looking for. So the goal here is to have a tool where you can quickly create great sounding bass tones for your tracks. So let's go ahead and get started. What I've just got here is uh, just a simple pattern. All right, just a little bass pattern. So you'll probably get bored of this pattern as we go, but it's the easiest way for me to share what's going on with the sounds. So I'm just gonna kind of run through the presets that I've created using this loop here. And then I'll, I'll kind of describe some of what's going on. So if I open this up, what we've got here. So for example, on the sub, we've got a sub chain. And this chain is almost like a, a preset selector. And it will select uh, starting from off, it will select any number of these subtones, all right? And same here, we've got our bases, and then we, we are able here to come and select any of our bass sounds, all right? So 75 sounds on that one. And this is just kind of a clone of the first bass so that we can layer two different bass sounds together if we like to make something more complex. And then we have a, a third bass that I added uh, new presets and sounds to, all really nice uh, here. And then we have our transients, or what I call the clicks. And this just gives your bass tones more presence if it's needed. And then we have another type of click that is created using operator and filters and stuff like that. And we can kind of shape the type of sound that uh, the click is making here. So we can use noise, saw wave, square wave, um, and FM synthesis. We've got one that goes high to low uh, and one that goes low to high, and I can kind of uh, show you that as we get there. Then we have two kind of dirty synths, more for like womp basses and just really filthy sort of sounds. Uh, and these could be used on their own or in combination with some of the other sounds as well. And yeah, so this over here, we've got you know our different parameters that we can do to control uh, these synths as well. Okay, two different synths. So that's eight different layers that we are using here. And let me go ahead and just get started and show you some of the presets. As you see here, we can affect uh, filter, res, uh, drive, uh, EQ, low pass, filter low pass, and uh, click high pass. And that's just for uh, this click here. All right. So that's what we've got. I, I wanted to make this uh, pretty simple and straightforward. Also, some of the sounds uh, we're able to affect with our LFO rate and LFO volume. So uh, I'll experiment with a little bit of that as well as we go into this. But wanted to keep this simple, wanted to give you uh, the sounds, show you what this is. At the moment, this is a, at a pay what you want promo. That's not gonna uh, last for too long. This is normally a $47 tool and I think it's well worth that but right now it's you know we're going through some stuff and a lot of people are stuck at home and I wanted to make this available to as many people as possible so it's a pay what you want and I just trust that those who can pay more will be helping me to be able to uh, share this with people who can't pay uh, so that we can get this tool into as many hands as possible so any, any support that you're able to give for this I truly appreciate because you're also supporting me as well. So with that, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna play this here. And when we start, you're not gonna hear anything until I use the select tool. Actually, let me just um, make sure that we get all this back to zero. So we got no sounds that are jumping through. So let's get started. So I'm just gonna hit this here and we will start going through some of the uh, some of the sounds. You're gonna need headphones most likely for the sub sounds. So uh, pop those on and you'll really be able to hear what's going on.
All right, so that is the sub sounds. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. Once again, we can layer these, and as you see here, we can adjust the volume so that we can layer a sub with a bass sound or a layer bass sounds together. So you're just gonna use the volume levels here in order to kind of bring in the different sounds and mix them however you like. All right, so now let's go ahead and get into the bass. Oh, and I wanted to let you know here, so with the sub, if we uh, have a sound running here, we've got our, our low pass, which means that we can cut out some of the highs on the sub. So we can really make it more like a really deep sine wave or what have you. We could also add the Q. to kind of enhance certain frequencies, all right? Otherwise, you could just leave that completely open. Uh, okay, so bass tones here. Um, and with the bass tones, we can actually cut the lows as well. So that way we can layer the sub and they don't kind of interfere with each other. So I'll show you that um, as we do this as well. So let's get into the bass tones. Here we got the low cut. All right. You've also got a filter, which is global, except for the clicks. In the filter, we also have the res. got filter drive. So all the sounds have this, okay?
So there you have it. Those are uh, the bass tones here. And once again, these are the same tones, so you could just layer sounds together if you wanted to. And uh, let's get into the, uh, the bass three. Hold on, let me just turn this back so it's off. And we'll get into our selection here. So that's uh, the third uh, collection of bass sounds there. So as you can uh, hear, there's tons of really great bass tones that you can play with and obviously ma manipulate in any way you want. Now let's get into the clicks. And these are just loads and loads of tones that you can use uh, to give a little bit more transient to the sound. So you can control your decay amount, but this is usually a good place to start. So let's uh, go into the selector here. And I'll turn the volume up a little bit. So this is kind of nice sharp tones here. And we can also uh, control the, uh, the high pass amount whether we want some lows in there or to get rid of some of that stuff. Most of the time I like to cut out some of the lows. Um, just kind of cleans up the rest of things and just adds that extra little bite to the sound to help a, a bass cut through if it's not already cutting through. So tons of different sounds there. I won't go through all of these, but you get the idea. And then we've got a second click that's created uh, more from synth. So I'll just kind of show you. We've got high to low and low to high. Uh, normally you're gonna use high to low, but the low to high filter can be kind of interesting as well. So let's go ahead and start with that. And then, so as you can hear here, we can extend the decay, but normally we're going to want it just clicky. But I'll extend it so you can get 
a better idea of each of these sounds. So if I turn all these down, we've got the noise, saw wave, We got square wave. And then we have square FM synthesis. And then we can mix and match however we want. And we can affect the attack, but most of the time you're not going to want to mess with that, right? But it can give a little bit of a whomping effect. Uh, let's go into low, low to high, but you can kind of hear how that's... Hear how it's kind of going from a low frequency to a higher frequency. We can so just different ways uh, to use filter and transient to get certain sorts of tones. So if we were to put that on top of uh, a bass sound. And without it. With it. And I'll turn this down so we can hear it a little better. Right? Like so, um, and we can play with this transient uh, click as well. So it puts a little bit more bite into the sound, which uh, can be really, really helpful. And once again, we could also layer with a sub. So maybe what we've got here is uh, we want to get rid of some of the lows on this bass sound. And then we'll layer the bottom end here with, uh, with the subtone. And if you have headphones on, you'll be able to really hear the difference that that's making. And we can, of course, adjust. So we've got our sub here. And we've got a click. So we can... and then bring in that bass tone. And then we can adjust the volume overall. So whatever you're going for, uh, that's how easy it is to just uh, create your own bass tones. Now I'll get into these extra synth sounds that we can play with. One's the wobbler. And these are for like harsher sounds. So let's go ahead and just play with it. And it's one of these things where you just kind of go for it and, and see what happens, right? So.
So you get the idea of that one, kind of that uh, that sort of tone, uh, vocal tone sort of thing. And then we've got our fifth step bass. Um, and this is also nice and dirty. So pretty simple uh, to use, and it just, once again, gives you some extra choices for some dirty sounds. So I wanted to add those to the bass machine as well. And yeah, the, these both use the operator instrument, so you'll need that in order to use this. This uh, bass machine two is, uh, it's going to be compatible with any Ableton version uh, 9.7 and above. So you'll need 9.7 to run this. Otherwise you can use the first version of the bass machine, which much of this is in. It just doesn't have the, uh, the third bass tones here. All right, so uh, there you have it guys. That's uh, the sounds. Those are what's available with the bass machine two, the new updated thing. So uh, there should be a link for you to check it out and pay what you want. I trust that if you can uh, pitch in that you will, and that will help the people who can't. So with that, guys, I hope you got something out of this, and I'd love to see what you guys are doing with this once you grab it. So take it easy, and I'll speak to you guys real soon. Bye-bye.